Hi YouTube, this is Miss Baby Bees. Um, I'm recording for some of my iMovie, so everything might be a little bit jacked up because I'm not quite sure how to use this. But I'm going to review uh, the Chanel Soleil de Tan Bronze Universal. You can see me in it, which comes with about well, the net weight is one point. It's just one ounce, so about the standard uh, size for a foundation. And it looks like this comes with this top, which you just lift off, and it protects your product, except it's been messing up my product. Um, my hair got stuck in it. That's attractive. When I show this to you, you'll see that it really captures a lot of the um, hairs from the environment. I, don't, I hope you can see it. There we There, you can see that hair there. And it's sort of like a whipped, there you go, a whipped, moussey sort of color. And it's quite dark when I show it to you, my, my skin color. And um, this smells like, I don't want to say a floral or fruity scent, but it smells quite nice. I really do like it. Um, it looks like this. You can sort of see it. I want you to see it, but it's kind of hard. I'll just keep swatching it on the same area of my hand so I can build it up. Um, like I said in my favorites video, it is a... Oh God, I really need to stop. I'm going to take out this mousse thing because it's irritating me. It keeps getting stuck in the product. But it looks like that, just lightly blended. I'm trying to get, there we go. Okay, you see it. Um, it can look kind of orange if you don't blend it out properly. And it can also look, um, not muddy. Well, I guess a little bit, a little bit dirty if you don't blend it out properly. And I just use a F80, a synthetic flat top kabuki by Sigma. Um, and I use this for my Chanel Vitalumina Aqua foundation as well as this so they work pretty nicely so what's good about this product is that you can use it as a foundation um, you could use it as a bronzer, you can use it as a contour you could probably use this on your body, I haven't yet but if you used a if you wanted to just bronze up your decolletage area down your neck, if your foundation is a little bit too light as many people's foundation do become very light in the summertime. If you don't tan that much and you don't want to buy a whole new foundation, uh, using this product will definitely help to, you know, even out that um, different skin tone between your um, your foundation and what your summer skin is. This comes with a lot of like it's a huge, like you can see this, a huge compact. Um, definitely worth the. $48 that I spent on this. That's in America. I don't know how much it is in Canada or elsewhere. And it has the, you know, beautiful packaging. It's fairly big. Um, this is not something I would travel with, which is, I guess, a con. I would never bring this with me on vacation if it was, you know, if I was going away for a while, maybe. But if it was like a week vacation, this is really very, it's heavy a little bit feels quite heavy and it's also a little bit I don't know not really travel friendly at the um, counters they have little jars like little baby jars and they're really cute um, if you could get them to give you one of those let me know because I really want one of them that way I can sort of travel with this in my makeup bag and elsewhere because it looks really lovely on the skin it looks really really healthy and natural and I haven't had any skin reactions to it. I think Chanel's pretty good with that. The only uh, problems I've ever heard people having with Chanel's products are, you know, with their foundation. Pro Lumiere, I think, was really it. But I use the Vitalumiere Aqua and I don't have any problems. And Chanel makes some really lovely products. Now it's just a, a case of whether or not you want to spend the money on this bronzer or another one. I think what's good with this front, this.
particular bronzer is if you do use liquid foundation. If you use, if you prefer more powdery um, bronzers, then this probably isn't the right thing for you because it's it does dry to a powder. I want to say still smells really good. Um, it does dry to a powder, but when you initially put it on, it's sort of like a cream cream consistency that makes it really really lovely and um, if you prefer powders you could just get a regular powder and you can get that from anywhere fairly cheap what I would say is that you're not going to find a product like this in drugstore I mean I haven't found something like this especially not this quality the only thing I can think of is the Maybelline like dream matte mousse things but they don't really have um a bronzing makeup base. This is really, when I think of a bronzing makeup like cream like this, this is the only product I've ever thought of for like years. Whenever I hear about this product, like I've been coveting this forever because it's definitely something that's raved about by a lot of people. And what I'm finding is that it definitely is worth it. And I found that when I went into the pool and everything, it was still on like which is kind of good about this, it really does set into your skin. Like, this is not really going anywhere. And the scent's still there. The only thing is the scent is still there. I can't smell it on my face whenever I put it on, but you can definitely smell it in the container and on my skin. So, if you are scent sensitive, I would get a sample of some sort or have them put it on in the store and wear it around for a full day to see if it smells good, if it's okay, if it doesn't irritate you all of the same things that you would do with a liquid foundation and I really love it I think that it was worth the money at the time I was upset about the cash but it's actually not the most expensive thing that you can get from Chanel. Chanel is pretty really expensive it's high up there you're paying for the logo the quality the packaging and the product like you're getting a, when you think about it you're getting a lot for the price and if you want to make that investment, I would, because I really don't think that this is going to go away that quickly. Like, it's it's a fairly amount of, you get a lot of product in this. Um, you get it as much as, like, a liquid foundation from Chanel. Or actually anywhere, because I think most foundations are on fluid ounce. All in all, I think it's a beautiful product. I think the packaging is beautiful. I don't think it's travel safe or anything like that. But I think it's a beautiful product to have at your house. If you travel a lot and you're looking for something to travel with, then I wouldn't recommend this. I'd recommend something like, I don't know, there's millions of them. The Dior actually, Dior makes a beautiful um, matte bronzer, O2, or any of their bronzers are really lovely. And they just came out with some new ones for, for the summer that I hear were really nice. Uh, MAC makes some nice nice uh, bronzers but they usually have shimmer so if you don't like shimmer it's another thing this has no shimmer in it it just it's just a flat color like a flat not flat but it doesn't have the shimmery effect you're getting more of a sheen with it it looks more like natural skin and it, that's what I love about it um, thanks so much for watching